Hi guys, it's Aaron from Team Workout Movement and today I'll show you how you can make your abs much more visible and also much stronger. So let's begin. So first of all, you'll need to find an object to grab onto because we want to be in the air. So I recommend to use a pull-up bar or you can also use rings if you have them. Also an alternative if you don't have these two is some kind of tree which you'll hang on to. But of course guys, make it safe. Then all you have to do is jump onto that object and hold it from above. This will guarantee that you'll activate your back and therefore you won't be swinging around and the exercise will become much better. Now, in order to do this, you'll have to contract your scapulas a little like this. So, do this movement and this will guarantee that you won't be swinging and it'll be nice and straight during the execution. So the only thing you have to do is just a scapular contraction so you'll be nice in that active hang. Moving on, what you'll do is straighten your legs and then put them together. So this way, you'll be nice in one line is your body and from there you can just perform the exercise. So really, try to initiate everything through those abs so you don't do the movement just for your quads. So really, think about it, put all the tension on those abs which you want to train. Then, your legs should reach at least the 90 degree angle here and this will be the perfect execution. Another important thing is that on the way down, you don't just let those legs go, but you still have to contract them and slowly release them so you'll also have that contraction on the way down. And then another important thing, while already at a slower position, you won't just end up while being straight, but you actually want to flex the muscle, so actually uh, let it go and relax it. This stretch provides additional range of motion which you want to get, because while going up, you contract the muscle, and then while going up, you release it and actually stretch it. But if you look at other exercises which you do for your abs, for example, regular rec race, as you can see, you end up when like your body is one straight line. But what's great about this uh, hanging one is that you can go even more back and actually have much better stretch on that muscle and therefore better muscle there. So really try to while going down, actually stretch the muscle, have some space there and then again contract it from the way back there and again raise your legs up. So this is the basic part of the movement. Uh, after you cannot do any more of those, you will just scratch your legs and continue while doing knee raises. This means that you can continue and provide more tension on that muscle, but it will make it be easier so that the tired muscle will actually do some kind of movement because those straight legs will be too difficult of a lever. So, in this case, you will crunch those legs and do the same movement again, slowly up, slowly down, contracting the muscle and also doing that flex at the bottom, stretching that muscle even more. And again, after you cannot do any more of these, you will just hold those legs in front of you and then slowly let them fall and then this will be the end of the first round. A tiny problem which might occur is that your hands will hurt too much from the holding of the bar because yes, it hurts a little. So if you find yourself in like falling because you cannot hold it anymore, just let go, relieve the tension from those hands and then as soon as you can just jump back and continue with the exercise until those abs cannot do the exercise anymore. And for the next exercise, you will be doing a pyramid plank which means that you'll have this angle almost like this little pyramid and you'll try to go as down as you can trying to have your body as straight as possible from the half. So it will look like this, try to hold it there, contracting everything through those abs and holding it there for 30 seconds. After you finish with these 30 seconds, you'll immediately come to the bar and do the same thing as before and after you finish, you'll come again to do this Again, 30 seconds, and after you finish, you'll repeat this once again. So, together, three times each exercise, and this will be your workout for your abs. Of course, there aren't any breaks between. You'll immediately, right after you finish one exercise, go to the other one and switch it like this three times each, and this will be it for your workout. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, ask me down in the comment section below. Of course, if you enjoyed, leave that like, share, and subscribe. And this will be all from me for today. So, thank you very much for watching, and bye.